The Las Vegas Raiders becoming the first NFL team to implement this mandate. Will more be on the way? Well, we're going to get into all the details, guys. Off the top, let me mention, if you would like to make a generous donation here to our ministry, the links to do so are down below as we are demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal or Patreon for you down below, or even just five bucks a month on Patreon to get you bonus content. Also, we include the links to the YouTube videos to make sure you get all the alerts when new content arrives. Then there, you can just comment on these videos censorship-free. Avoid YouTube blocking and hiding what you guys are saying. It's happening more and more now. Also, make sure you go sub to me on Rumble. That is our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube, and we're already posting there. So go check us out. All those links down below. Then please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So here we go. Las Vegas Raiders, they have announced that for all home games this season, fans will be required to show proof of the Rona jab before being able to enter Allegiant Stadium. That's right. Now, they're not going to be accepting, you know, the little jab cards that they give you when you go out there and get your jab. You know, it's got the date on there, your first dose, when you go back to get your second dose. No, instead, you're going to have to show proof of this on your mobile phone with one of the Health Pass apps. And they list all the details for fans on which app you have to download when you go into the stadium to show your proof when arriving. However, for those fans that have not received the jab, okay? Now, imagine for those that have already, you know, purchased season's tickets, and all of a sudden this rule comes out, and they go, wait a minute, what is going on here? Uh, kind of bad news for them if they never planned on getting the jab, because, well, you will not be allowed in under any circumstances, but what they will be doing for you instead is that they will be setting up an on-site jab clinic right there in the parking lot at the stadium. Fans can go ahead there in the parking lot. They can get a jab right there in their arm. And then they'll be able to enter the stadium. But they'll have to enter wearing a face diaper because they just would have been receiving their first dose. And then they'll be allowed in. They will have to wear a face diaper. Those that are already fully jabbed will not have to wear face diapers when they're in attendance. So uh, this is quite controversial. And like I said, other NFL teams, are they now going to take a look at what the Raiders have done here in Nevada and say, you know what? We should do the same thing for our stadium as well. Well, no doubt in my mind, at least a couple more will follow suit. Eventually, I think all of them will. And you know, I said a couple of years ago when everything started happening in the NFL with the protests and the Colin Kaepernick thing and the kneeling during the anthem, I felt that we were at the end of sports as we knew it. What happened from there? Things got progressively worse, okay? More and more of the protests and then some stadiums not even playing the anthem anymore. You, you had the whole BLM thing and them, you know, wearing the jerseys with all of the other names on it and doing BLM on the field. I mean, it just got worse. And then Rona hit, right? And then all of a sudden, stadiums were shut down. Players were playing in front of no fans. All of a sudden, here come the jabs. Jabs are here. Yay for jabs. And now here come the mandates. The NFL pretty much making it impossible for a player to be able to play without taking the jab, unless they're gonna undergo the extreme protocols, which many players say that they will, but it's also forced a lot of them to go ahead and take the jab against their will because, well, they don't wanna lose their pay. They don't wanna be responsible for, you know, costing another teammate a win. And now it comes to the fans. Once fans are finally allowed back into the buildings again, now they're gonna be required to show proof of a jab just to be able to go in and take in a football game. See, this is like what I'm saying. This is the end of sports as we know it. It's just everything that's going is going in a cycle. It's one thing after another that'll lead to a complete collapse. And don't even get me started on the Olympics. That's a whole nother topic too. But this is all because we're in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. It's why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines that are going on around the world because, well, like I said, he is coming soon. But do you know him as your Lord and Savior? 
If not, I want to encourage you to make today the day of salvation. See, the world that you know, that you once knew, is passing away. We're all going to a better place. What we used to love about our country is now fading away. And it's not going back to the way that it was. We're going to a better place. you know. But this, this world will pass. But we can be with the Lord for eternity. And to accept Christ, you can put this prayer in your own words. But I'm going to give you the steps and how to go ahead and form that prayer in your own words. The first thing you want to do is acknowledge that you are a sinner. We all are. But God gave his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do, though, is you have to repent of your sins. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. Then at that point, you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.